So in this lecture, we want to talk about solving inequalities. And I should mention that almost everything I talk about in the first week or two of Math 103 should be information that you are already familiar with. These are just a review of topics that we teach in Math 099. So if weeks one and two are very difficult for you, I strongly suggest that you talk with me or an ICM advisor about moving to Math 099 so that you can learn the topics that you need in order to be successful in Math 103. Now, inequalities are essentially solved in the same way that we solve an equation, but there is one difference. Before we write that difference down, let's look at an example here. We know that negative three is less than six. So let's multiply both sides by four. When we multiply by four, we have negative 12 on the left, 24 on the right. And we see that negative 12 is less than 24. Let's divide by six. When I divide by six on the left and on the right, I see that negative two is less than four. I can add, let's add five to both sides. Adding five gives me three here. Adding five gives me nine. And I see that three is less than nine. We can subtract. If I subtract six, I have negative three here, positive three here, and negative three is less than three. Right from the very beginning, when I added, subtracted, multiplied and divided, the sign did not change direction. But now let's multiply by negative two. Here I have negative three times negative two, three times negative two. What do you notice? The sign changed direction. I was multiplying by negative two. Every time I did an operation before, I was using a positive number. What happens when I divide? Let's divide by negative three. Six divided by negative three, negative six divided by negative three. Again, the sign changed direction. So there's this but. We're going to do everything the same as we do for a regular equation, but when we have an inequality, whenever we are multiplying or dividing, by a negative number, you have to remember that the sign changes direction. In the next lesson, we'll look at some inequalities.